Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Honkai Star Rail on PC using the brand new BlueStax 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Honkai Star Rail and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStax 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Honkai Star Rail. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, to start we have to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to the current URL I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you can see on the PC screen. There is no need to type it, simply because I provided a link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. We arrived on this page on the site of Usitility, where we include an in-depth description on the way to obtain Honkai Star Rail on personal computer. We browse lower a little bit and click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on that link, we reach the site of BlueStacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Honkai Star Rail on the PC. It is now obvious that we access a great deal of advantages of using the emulator. Then, we are on the way to start downloading the Honkai Star Rail by simply clicking on the button play on BlueStacks that you can see here in green. Next step is clicking on the button. Of course, the download step takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It's a file to execute. The following step is to run the installer, ok, then we need to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the device. We clicked yes. I reduced the web browser to start to see the installation software much better. The installation software is uncomplicated. It is made up of two possibilities, install, and setup path. I will clarify what setup path does. We only click it. And now we discover that we end up with here the path in which the emulator will be placed. If we need to change this folder we have got to click on that browse option, therefore we select another directory and install the emulator wherever we wish. To keep it simple, just keep it by default. Then, I click on back. And therefore I just click on install. Great. The install begins and it's going to proceed in the download of these megabytes that happens to be represented on our computer screen. At the time you download it, it may be a little more or less MB. The data transfer rate may go at a higher speed or slower, subject to your web access and according to the efficiency of the emulator hosting servers. Today they are going extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has actually been started on autopilot. As you will notice, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar that will move forward to the right so when it reaches the ending, the emulator can be started for the first time. The reality is the emulator is already started, here it is for the very first time. Before we continue on, as you understand, it created two app icons right here on the PC desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks icon is definitely the one we're concerned about. Every time we need to run Honkai Star Rail on our desktop or laptop, we twice click on that icon and consequently start the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should make the following step, which is a must-have, and this is to entry the Google Play Store. And we'll mouse click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is presented. At this point we have got to sign in. At present the moment we're here, we must definitely accomplish the next phase that is imperative. So that we simply click on, sign in. At this point it announces, checking info. It might occasionally get stuck in, checking info, additionally it doesn't move forward. In that case, you should attempt to log in in after a number of hours and it may most likely be fixed. At this point we shall provide our username and password. The email address ought to be a Gmail email and its matching password. For instance you could use the exact same email you're using right now in your YouTube account. Thus I will enter my details and I will revisit when I have completed it. That's all, information typed. Here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the terms of service. We must approve all of them by simply hitting, I agree. After that, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. 
You can also leave it selected and it'll create a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you can utilize that option if you desire. We click on Accept. The Google Play Store is started automatically and automatically. To set up the video game, we have to go to the emulator desktop for Android by left-clicking that app icon indicated in green. Today that we are exploring the desktop of this emulator, we can see that we now have here the install application option. We click or double-click on that button. Right here we access to the Android game. How about we click now on the install option that I'm showing now in green color. Therefore it will initiate the software setup. Straight away it will install the video game, it may take a little while or perhaps it may just be almost immediate. This all depends on our connection to the internet. It's already completed installing. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this specific option that I am emphasizing in green, to be able to launch Honkai Star Rail for the very first time. I am currently on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're going to simply click that new Honkai Star Rail icon which has been generated. That Android game is started for the first time. So there we have it, I can mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to talk about the volume level of this emulator. It is right here. We have the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this manner we do not count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of the emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we will turn on the large monitor, for which we have two options. That is simply the first one, we mouse click on this app icon which I am actually pointing out in green color. Then the display screen is maximized, offering one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Supposing that we like to have fun with the game using all the screen, we hit this game icon. And we might presently be experiencing the game in 100% screen mode. To exit the complete screen setting, hit the F11 key. And therefore we would definitely now end up being in normal display screen mode. At this moment I am ready to demonstrate to you the computer keys mapping which is definitely extremely interesting. That step we definitely will be in a position to play the video game more easily. The very first point is to click on this application icon. It's now time to get the necessary controls. I'm going to leave the normal settings, however if you wish to modify this, you can achieve it with no problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. Occasionally it happens that your emulator is launched in the wrong language, for instance, in Mandarin. Then to set it up in the appropriate language we go there to the cogwheel. So right here inside of many other settings, we just click the language drop down. We may very well pick the language we want, Italian, Japanese, and so forth. After the language is selected, we would save, the emulator would reboot, as well as the game, next time we launch it, will also be in the picked language. At this time, you will find another information that we must take into consideration, and it is that we will receive an email telling that a completely new equipment has been linked to this Google account. It will definitely ask us if we are the people who have associated with that device. Absolutely, we should not get worried, since the emulator is behaving like an Google Android electronic device. And then to identify which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we come right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. And so we browse here to the, model, choice. And here we realize that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for our tutorial. I sincerely hope you liked it, especially that everyone thought it was handy. If that's so, offer it a good like, subscribe to our channel, and I will be happy to answer all your comments, requests or suggestions, let them in the comment box down below. You can even leave comments on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams every once in a while, you have it below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Simply click on any of these online videos which are usually showing up on the computer screen and see you in the future training videos. Bye.